Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome back. I am loving talking to you guys about what I do as coach. And so today is day three of this little series, and I am excited to share with you more about how you actually earn an income as a coach. Because on day one, I talked about why I decided to become a coach, what led me to that decision. Yesterday, I talked about what I actually do day in, day out as a coach. So you can go back to my IGTV and watch those videos if you have more questions about that. Today, I want to talk about how do you actually earn an income income by doing the things I talked about yesterday, by taking care of your body, by growing your social media, by running awesome challenge groups where you encourage other women to take care of themselves with you and growing a team, right? So um, Team Beachbody, first of all, let me say this and I'll put it in the comments too in the caption. Team Beachbody does not guarantee that anybody is going to make a certain level of income. I cannot tell you that you're going to sign up tomorrow, be a coach and just make millions of dollars, right? Um, every coach's income is definitely dependent on the work that they do. So that's really important that I want you to hear first and foremost, but the work does work. <laughs> I started as a brand new coach in August uh, really started in September of 2014. Uh, and my number one goal, honestly, was just to get what I used paid for. So I started to use Shakeology. It was a nutrient dance. I still drink it, still drink it seven years later. Um, I was totally that girl who said I would never drink a shake, but I started to drink it and I started to notice that it helped with my hormones. Um, my hormones were one of the main reasons that I actually started working out and changing the way I ate. And so if I could drink a shake that tasted like a Wendy's Frosty and that would help, like I was all over that. I was desperate for this to work and to stick. And I thought if I help three women join an accountability group and I get my shake paid for, like that's worth it. That's worth it to put myself out there to try something new. And so that was honestly my number one goal um, income wise. And so when that first check rolled in for like $76, I was like, woohoo, this is awesome. Like that is so helpful to our family. And then it was like another couple of weeks I didn't earn anything. And then another check came in, right? And so my income has definitely grown very slowly, but we needed that income. Um, when I started as a brand new coach, I was a full-time teacher. I worked a full-time job and I was honestly teaching classes for a couple of other colleges. So I was doing that at night. I was doing that on the weekends. I was doing that on my lunch break. And we were just honestly just kind of drowning in having debt from having kids from daycare. We weren't in day, debt for daycare, but it was expensive. Um, we were, um, we had a lot of medical bills, like um, ears, tonsillectomies, things like that. That was just stacking up from the boys. And if, uh, if an unexpected bill came in, like we were like, oh crap, how are we going to pay for this, right? If a car broke down, we didn't know how we were going to pay for it. So it made sense to me to take something that I love so much, to take something that was working for me, like the workouts and the nutrition plan and Shakeology and share it with other women and, and build an income that way. Um, so what happens whenever you become a coach, basically you unlock the doors to actually Actually start earning immediately. And so Team Beachbody is an MLM. We are a multi-level marketing company. I do not have any issues with that. I probably would have before, but I didn't really understand what it was. And basically we all go to work and we all get paid for the work that we do, right? I think the MLMs are exactly the same. And so I started to tell women what I was doing. I started to run these accountability groups and share the workouts and share the nutrition plans and share about Shakeology. And when somebody said, hey, yeah, I want to try it. I want to give it 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. They joined me with the same tools. And every time someone joined me as one of my clients, my customers, I earn a commission on what they actually purchase. And so that is one way that we earn as coaches. So if I have lots of women 
who are just like me and they love the workouts and they love Shakeology and they love my go-go juice. And so every time someone who is a client of mine purchases something, I earn an income based on what they purchase. All right. And then the other way that we earn is actually through building a team of women who do it with us. So one thing I love about this business, one thing I personally love about MLMs is that my income grow, does not grow unless I help somebody else build a business. This is not a pyramid scheme. If anybody tells you MLMs are pyramid schemes, they do not know what they're talking about. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Pyramid schemes are where you actually earn from other people doing something and you don't do anything, right? If I stop working my business, I can't continue to grow an income like I want to. And if I want to grow a bigger business, grow a bigger income, I get to help more people in order to do that. Um, and so building a team of women, mentoring a team of women, you guys see the women on my team. I share them all the time. They are just like you and me. They are just moms who, who want a little bit more purpose in their life. They're just moms who want to pay for the groceries. They're just moms who, who love the products, who love being fit, who want to be uh, held accountable to that and they want to help other people do it too. And so I always say that we earn an income by making an impact. If I am not impacting people for good, if I'm not being a light here on social media, if I'm not consistent in my own health and fitness journey and running challenge groups and helping other women, I do not, I'm not able to grow an income. And that is an integrity based income to me. Um, and I actually want to take a second to invite my friend Kimberly to come on with me. You have heard me interview Kimberly before, but she is a coach on my team. And I want you to hear from her really quickly about how coaching and how the income has impacted her family's life. So I'm going to wait for her to hop on. Um, just a second. There she is. Let's see. There she is. There she is. Does it work? Ah, there you are. Awesome. Can you hear me? Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is too funny because we actually, Kimberly and I were just talking this morning. Um, not about this. We were talking about, we were mentoring and just brainstorming. And she uh, was telling me how their income, her income from coaching had impacted her family's life. And so, Kimberly, I know you went live a little bit ago on your own page about coaching. But today, I'm talking about the money. And I know that lots of people have questions about that. I know lots of people are skeptical of MLMs. Um, I know that lots of people don't really understand it or what it can be. Um, and so I've kind of broken down how we earn. But I really wanted to just ask you, like as a coach on Team Take Heart, how has the income from what you do as a coach impacted your family? Yeah. So honestly, I started coaching like just for the accountability in my own health and fitness journey. Um, and honestly, like at that point in time, like God had brought me home um, to be home with our kids, which is a huge blessing. And honestly, like we were, we were doing fine. So like, I didn't come mm -hmm. into it like with these huge income and business goals. Now don't get like, don't get me wrong. Like obviously like money is you know, there's always, you can always have more of it and whatever. And there's always things that we struggle with. Um, but that wasn't the initial goal for me. And so I came in and I started to fall in love with the products and the programs and the community, just like Rachel. And I just wanted to share about it. And I like from her sharing her story and other coaches, like I saw what was possible. And so as I started to share my story, as I started to invite other women to do this with me, I started to earn a little bit of income. And it was probably a month or so into it before I got my first paycheck. And I, honestly, I think it was like $84 or something. But I was like, oh, this is great. I can pay for a week's worth of groceries for this. Or I can pay for part of our cell phone bill or whatever. So it wasn't huge, but um, it was it was a start and it helped. Um, and then I went a few weeks, I think, before I got another paycheck. But as I've continued to show up and be consistent in doing the things that we do every day as a coach and helping other women and helping um, not just like other women on their health and fitness journey, but mentoring other women and starting their own business, like Rachel said, I have seen my income grow slowly but consistently. And I've been here as a coach almost two years 
And I was telling Rachel this morning, like my husband was paying bills the other day and working on our budget. And he kind of looked at me and he was like, so I guess we can take groceries out of our budget, right? And I was like, yeah, yes, we wow. can. And like, I, that was, chills. I know I have chills too. Um, and so like, just by helping other women and being consistent and showing up every day, I have been able to cover our monthly grocery bills and then a little bit more. And let me just say like, I know Rachel's already said it, but Beachbody does not guarantee any amount of income for any individual. It's all based on your effort that you put into it. But what a blessing that is for our family. And like, I've been able to, in addition to that, like take our family out to dinner when we go out to eat or pay for, you know, kids to play baseball and things. And not that we couldn't do that. If I wasn't coaching, we could, but it's just, it's just really cool to see how I've been able to take something that I love and then bless my family with it. And so that's where I'm at in my business is like paying for our monthly groceries and paying for the little extra things that we want to do and birthday parties and things like that. Um, And so it's been a really cool, cool thing for our family. So would you tell the people who are watching, so how much time a day, like on average, how much time do you spend on your business? Um, you know, it's funny. People always ask this and I'm always like, oh, it's kind of hard for me to give you like that time because I just talked to the, about this on my live, on my page, like for my family in the season that we're in right now, like my day rarely looks the same and I'm working very much so in the pockets of time around our three busy kids. Um, and so it's hard to like kind of add those up, but, um, honestly, I'd probably say, um, especially now that I have my own team of women underneath me that are, we're working together and helping them grow their businesses. Um, I'd probably say maybe two to three, sometimes four hours a day. Um, I didn't start that way. I started with, I remember when we, when I first started, you asked me like, how much time do you have to commit? I think I said like maybe an hour, maybe two. Um, and that worked. I mean, you can totally do it that way. Um, but as you grow, it, it will take more time because you are helping other women. But I would say probably on average, maybe, maybe three hours a day. Yeah. Yeah, same for me. I know when I started, it was very, it's still in the pockets of my day because we homeschool. But um, yeah, I would say like one, maybe two hours a day. And now I'm like three or four hours a day max. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? It really a full, is. A full-time income on the, like a part-time hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, sis. Thank you so much for being willing to share your story. Y'all got to go follow her to Kimberly and... <laughs> Watch her story. Watch her live. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Um, bye. I'll bye. see you later. Um, so I guess I should probably end this with the fact that um, about, I don't know if you know this, but before I was a coach, I was a full-time college history instructor. And I still actually teach a couple of classes at the college level just because I love it. I'm a history girl. Love it. Love teaching that. Um, and it gives me a little bit of time away from the house. But um, I... I, about two years into my business, Matt and I looked at each other and we were like, um, I think we're earning enough from coaching to actually consider you coming home. And that was not an easy decision. Let me say that was so scary to go to my boss and be like, Hey, I'm not going to teach full time anymore. Um, but we knew that God was calling me home. We knew God was making a way through the coaching income. We knew that he was calling me home. And we knew that honestly, separately at the same time, God was laying on Matt's heart and on my heart for us to homeschool our boys, even though we were not ready at that point. But I say God gives this stuff in like little tiny steps. But after three years of coaching part-time, I was able to leave full-time teaching to be at home with my family. And it was something I never saw coming, never expected. But again, God just blessed the work that I showed up to do every single day. And I see him doing that in the lives of women on my team every single day. Jade is a coach who just left her full-time teaching job to be a full-time mama and coach. Um, Kimberly gets to stay home and just provide extras for her family. Like it is happening. It is possible. And I am always looking to work with women who want to work, whether it is an hour a day or four hours a day, who want to serve women in faith and fitness, who want to learn and grow and get outside your comfort zone and try something new. I mean, this was something that Rachel Mitchell never saw coming, but God knew all along. And I look back and it just blows my mind and gives me the goosebumps and gives me the feels. So I'm sharing this because coaching changed my life. 
and it could change your life. It could be your calling too. And so I'm inviting you to learn more. If you'd like to chat more one-on-one -on -one with me about what I do as a coach and see if it could just fit into your life, um, there's a link in my bio. You can go click on it. it says Team Take Heart. And Kimberly and me and some other girls from our team are actually going to go live tomorrow night eight o'clock Thursday Central Standard Time and you can come hear more stories like mine. You can hear we're going to explain more about what we do, how it works, what we do on a daily basis, about the incomes, about the fun incomes, income, the, the rewards, the trips, all the stuff you see us doing, but also just about the daily work. And um, I won't fudge that we work for where we get, for what we get, right? Everybody does. And if you don't, there's something wrong with that. But um, we are going to go live tomorrow night at eight o'clock. And so if you'd like to be on with us and hear from more women like myself, like Kimberly, um, come just click that link in my bio that says Team Take Heart. Send me a direct message, comment below. I don't care. Just get in touch with me somehow. And I would love for you to be my guest on that call. All right. So for now, I'm going to go. I'm going to watch the Olympics with my boys while I finish up some stuff because it's hot and there's nothing else to do here.